our nation has constantly taken a positive step forward on the question of racial justice and racial equality. But over and over again, at the same time, it made certain backward steps. This is wrong. This is wrong. <laughs> the job ahead must be massive and positive. Somewhere we must come to see that social progress never rolls in on the wheels of inevitability. It comes through the tireless efforts and the persistent work of dedicated individuals. And without this hard work, time itself becomes an ally of the primitive forces of social stagnation. And so we must help time. We must realize that the time is always right to do right. But it must be realized now that the Negro cannot solve the problem by himself. There again, there are those who always say to Negroes, why don't you lift yourselves by your own bootstraps? But it is a cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. The fact is that millions of Negroes, as a result, of centuries of denial and neglect have been left bootless. Now let me say finally that we have difficult days ahead, but I haven't despaired. Somehow I maintain hope in spite of hope, and I've talked about the difficulties and how hard the problems will be as we tackle them. But I want to close by saying that I still have faith in the future. And I still believe that these problems can be solved. And so while the law may not change the hearts of men, it can and it does change the habits of men. We will be able to hew out of the mounting of despair, a stone of hope, this day, we will be able to speed up the day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and live together as brothers and sisters all over this great nation. That will be the day when the morning stars will sing together and the sons of God will shout for joy. Thank you.